Okay, hello everyone. Today I wanted to make a short video about anxiety attacks and um, I wanted to start by saying that there are a lot of different factors that can cause these symptoms. Um, symptoms of heart palpitations, sweating, feeling of impending doom, um, inability to concentrate, these are all symptoms that people describe when they're when they're experiencing an anxiety attack, and they can be debilitating. Um, and so, when I'm working with someone, the objective is always to figure out what all the causative factors are on the emotional level, the mental level. What are the thoughts that are predisposing these symptoms? What are the feelings that are predisposing these symptoms? Um, and what in the physical level? are contributing and and this is a, a short video about one simple thing on the physical level that is important to rule out right away when you're looking at your own anxiety like symptoms um, and and this is something called reactive hypoglycemia and what is happening essentially with with this person is is that their blood sugar levels are dropping and they are getting an adrenal response an adrenal overactivation or a sympathetic overactivation to raise those sugar levels so what what's happening are the adrenals are releasing adrenaline and they're releasing cortisol into the bloodstream and this is actually what's causing the symptoms of the heart racing and the palms getting sweaty and an inability to concentrate and focus um, and really notable anxiousness. Okay, so if your anxiety is being contributed to by low blood sugar states, it's really simple to take a close look at your diet and determine whether or not it's it's your food choices that are playing into these uh, this dysregulation in in blood sugar and and ninety percent of the time it will be um, there are other factors that you can look at um, with your pancreas but uh, diet is going to play a huge role in in regulating your sugar so really really simple things um, like eliminating or dramatically decreasing all refined carbohydrate it just this this is a a must um, so things like white breads have to go white pastas have to go and sugar and specifically high fructose corn syrup um, you need to look at your diet and you need to determine if there are sources um, of high fructose corn syrup in your diet. This is probably the single most important uh, food to, to remove from your diet or ingredient to remove from your diet um, because of its harmful effect on the pancreas and your insulin response. So. It's also important to look at how you space your food. If, if you have a tendency towards low blood sugar, it's, it's important to be getting food into your system every two or three hours. So that might require a mid-morning snack and a mid-afternoon snack and possibly a, an evening snack to, uh, to keep that pancreas relaxed. Okay, so that's, that's one possible factor that is playing into your anxiety attacks. Um, and I just wanted to stress before I finish up here that it's it's critical that, that you're not just looking at at physical causes because like I was saying at the beginning of this video that that if you're experiencing anxiety um, the single causative factor may exist in the beliefs that you hold about yourself. Um, or it might exist in unresolved emotional conflict from your past. Um, 
many times the body will express this anxiety as a way of discharging um, anxiety felt earlier in your life. Um, and this is your body's way of, of healing that, that memory. Um, so it's, it's really important that you're working with a naturopath or a qualified healthcare practitioner who can, who can help you investigate all the factors that are, are playing into your anxiety. But, but this video is, is just highlighting one factor that, that may exist on, on the physical level and it's, uh, it's really easy and simple to rule out. Um, so if anyone has any questions or comments about the content, um, please feel free to leave a note at the bottom of this video and I'll, I'll certainly get back to you with a response. Thanks for your time.